Adoration. God bless you all. I wish to use this opportunity to bless you and encourage you as I depart to the monastery in obedience to my bishop, his lordship, CVC Onaga. I am going to the monastery under priestly obedience and I wish to encourage you fellow adorers to remain calm and be still as the Bible says in Psalm 46 verse 10 be still and know that I am God. This is a time we shall know real adorers. Please, please and please, back me with your prayers so that I will go and then back on deeper reflections, sober contemplations, and interior waiting on the Lord. I wish to assure you, as the Bible says in Jeremiah 29, verse 11, that God has plans for us, for a future and a hope, not of disaster. Remember in that Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 14, he says, I will reverse your conditions. After he has said in Jeremiah 29, verses 12 and 13, when you call on me, I will answer you. When you search for me, you will find me. Please use this opportunity to call on God for the integral wellness and well-being of the adoration ministry. That is the apple of God's eyes, of Zechariah 2, verse 8. And I wish to inform you, fellow adorers, that this is not a time to be cantankerous, to be sorrowful, to be angry unnecessarily. Remember, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8 says, Be calm and vigilant, for the devil your enemy is prowling around you like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Stand up in faith, and I plead, do not give the devil any opportunity. As I've told you, as a Catholic priest, under the vow of obedience, I must obey the mother church. Please, in my absence, don't do anything that is awful or anything that will in any way, shape, or form give the devil any iota of opportunity or glory. Let us not fall into any trap the devil has set. I just heard that some people are about to carry demonstrations and protest. Please, you adorers should help to stop such people. I know you are very good. You adorers are lovely. You adorers are godly. You adorers are Christ-like. You adorers are real worshippers of God. I know that you will not disappoint me. Let us join together to win the devil. Because when in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 the Bible says, We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, and even forces of darkness, even against incubus and succubus, asmodeus, asmodum and asmoda. There are forces of darkness that have been fighting us. Remember, God has done a lot. So far, so good. We have a lot to give glory to God. Let this temptation fail. We must win the temptation. This temptation and trial time shall not win us. Because in the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 37, the Bible says, We are more than conquerors. 
And in 1 Corinthians 15, 57, the Bible says, Thanks be to God who has given us victory in Christ Jesus. My Lord Bishop, His Excellency, C.V.C. Onaga, please pray for me. I will also pray for you as I go there. I believe that this, my journey to the monastery, will bring out something fruitful from me. Bring out something significant, something good and glorious. Because when the Bible says in Romans 8.28, for them that love God, everything works together unto good. I want to see this, my journey to the monastery as something that God is going to use as an instrument for more miracles, instrument for soul saving, instrument for the glory of God. I have to obey for the sake of Salus and Imaru. I have to obey to save souls. I have to obey to shame the devil. Please, I have handed over Reverend Father Anthony Amade. I've handed over to him under the instruction of my Lord Bishop, whom I have to select the name Father Tony. Father Tony is a good man. Please work with him, pray with him, love him. Remember, I am not transferred to the monastery. It's not on transfer. I'm going to the monastery to pray and I will come back. It will not take so long. I will join you. Just pray for me. Pray for the mother church. Pray for the diocese of Enugu. Pray for the Korea of Enugu diocese. Please. This time calls for prayers. And this is the month of October that the Catholic does prayer for St. Joseph. It's the month of St. Joseph who helped to carry Jesus with Mary out of Bethlehem when Herod wanted to kill him. So pray that Joseph will intercede for me through his intercession. This Jesus will not die in Bethlehem. And I wish to inform you that Whether in the physical or in the spiritual, we are still connected. We are united. This is a spiritual relationship. It doesn't matter where I am. Prayer does not respect distance. I will be with you and you will be with me. I love you, Adora, so much and you know. I love you, Adora, passionately and you know. Please, the ministry is not closed. Adoration ministry is a gift of God. It is the baby of the Holy Spirit. It is the apple of God's eyes, as the Kera 2 verse 8 says. So don't misunderstand anybody. Just like what they did on last Sunday, after handing over to Father Anthony, I started hearing that Father Mbaka spoke against Peter Obi. I, Reverend Father Mbaka, on that Sunday, never mentioned Peter, not to talk of Obi. Please, whoever is being used by the devil to blackmail me in the name of doing any job for anybody is satanic and should apologize and withdraw such nefarious and satanic utterance and be careful when you want to harm the image of a man of God. Whoever did that, I've forgiven you, but I want to hear that you have apologized and withdrawn what you said against me on that day. Just to put the adoration ministry in trouble. Please, as I've said, that I heard that some people are planning to do protests. I've not asked anybody to protest for me. And I don't want to hear that there is any protest done to 
express anger towards my journey to the monastery. Help me, fellow adorers, to stop any kind of protest that anybody will carry on my behalf to please me. Because instead of the protest or demonstration helping me, it may jeopardize even my priestly call. Therefore, encourage peace. Encourage love within this time. And do more of prayers. And God of heaven will do the rest for us in Jesus' name. So as I go, I bless you and I wish you the best. Please, please, and please be happy with Jesus. Continue to pray your rosaries. Continue to stay with the Blessed Sacrament. Continue to live your life of righteousness. Continue in charity. Continue with the Bible, the Word of God. Please, do not depart from the presence of God. And never you hate the church because of my exodus to the, men, to the monastery. And let me tell you, you can never tell. By the time I go and come back, as Abraham said in Genesis 22, verse 5, he said, I'm going with my son Isaac, and uh, we are coming back. Now I'm going with my Bible. I'm going not just with my Bible. I'm going with the Holy Spirit, with Jesus, with the Father, and with his angels. We are coming back. There's no cause for alarm. It is well. It is well. And it is well. Peace be with you as I cover you with the blood of Jesus. And I bless you in the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit.